What's going on guys, welcome to a brand new video. Today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can unlock the legendary equipment in Sea of Thieves. Now, essentially, in order to unlock these, there are two combinations in which you need to unlock. These are the legendary gold hoarder and the legend of mystical order in the Athena's fortune. Now, for both of these, you need to sell 500 items. So for the gold hoarder, this is 500 chests. And for the order of souls, this is 500 skulls. Mermaid gems do not count. Trinkets do not count. It has to be chests and skulls. Now before I get further into this guide, I'd like to ask you guys if you could please consider subscribing and leaving a like. Uh, it just makes a, a world of a difference to me. And uh, I also have a personal channel where I will upload variety games. Currently it's kind of just getting off the ground. I haven't been able to record anything yet, but um, the link is in the description. I'll be uploading things such as Rust, Call of Duty, Apex Legends, Valorant, all that kind of stuff. Oh my god. Um, and any games that you guys kind of suggest. So uh, please do let me know and go and subscribe to that. Anyway, let's get straight into the video. Kicking it off, we're going to be getting into the legendary gold hoarder commendation. Now, essentially, as I said earlier, for this, you need to sell 500 chests. Now, this is pretty easy. Let's be real. It's pretty easy. The fastest way that you're going to be able to complete this is by doing gold hoarder vaults. That is the easiest way because on average from a gold key vault, which you will be if you're if you're obviously if you're an Athena um, or a pirate legend, you will be level 50. So you get access to the gold vaults. You get 23 on average there or thereabouts chests around 23. So essentially, if you think about it, two vaults, that's 50. You just have to do 20 vaults. Within about, I mean, if we go over that, maybe 25 volts and you've completed this. This is very achievable and this would probably take you, depending on how many hours you put into the game, you could probably get four volts done in two hours. This will take you a week. Now completing this commendation will reward you with the legendary compass and the legendary shovel. It will not give it to you, however it unlocks it for purchase. And the shovel costs 2600 gold, whereas the compass costs 3950, so it is very affordable and you guys will be able to purchase this upon completing the commendation. Now moving on to the legend of mystical order, this is where you sell 500 skulls. This one is a little bit more complicated. Now, obviously, you want to do the fastest thing to get you the most amount of skulls. My suggestion would be doing Order of Souls Voyages and getting up to a Grade 5 Order of Souls Emissary, claiming the quest, lowering, re-raising, and cycling through Emissary Voyages. This is because per Emissary Voyage, you get four maps with four captains on, which means you're getting four skulls, 16 skulls per Emissary Voyage, now, in order to get Order of Souls Grade 5, in order to unlock this Emissary Voyage, uh, it took me about actually 16 skulls, got me to Grade 4 and a half, and then I used defeating a skeleton ship and picking up a mermaid gem to get me the rest of the distance to Grade 5. So, essentially, recycling Emissary Voyages and defeating a captain or two here and there will actually get you to Grade 5. So, recycling these Emissary Voyages is very viable, but uh, it took me about an hour to get this Grade 5 or order of souls so if you think about it that's about 16 per hour and then when you get your emissary voyage you'll be getting about 16 every half an hour to 45 minutes it's not as fast as the gold hoarder vaults but uh, it's certainly not terrible there are other ways in which you can do this, such as stacking for the damned, getting four every 15 minutes uh, through the stronghold skulls and getting about 16 an hour, same way. Uh, but obviously that's more high, uh, high, what's the word? High risk. You could also do flame heart and get about 16 every half an hour if you server hop. Um, so that is an option, but I went for the more PvE slower option, the, the option that people have more success with. Uh, the, the voyages, you have more success with that than you will uh, Flameheart, or most of you watching at least. Now upon completing this commendation, you will actually unlock the ability to purchase the Legendary Lantern and the Legendary Tankard. However, that about wraps it up for this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, please consider subscribing, leaving a like, or just comment the uh, strategy you're going to use in order to get your skulls and your chests. I'm interested to know what strategy you're going to go for. And uh, also, if you haven't already, go and subscribe to my personal account. Link is in the top of the description. Uh, I'm going to be uploading variety content there. But without further ado, thank you guys for watching. I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.